So, uh, good morning. What we did at this table was we started off by looking at ICT and where are we in Africa and uh, the fact that we are a turning point in Africa with the cables, with the submarine cables circling around the continent. There's uh, three of them uh, today. There's uh, huge connectivity power. The rest of the world is connected to Africa and Africa has the ability to connect itself uh, in between the countries and inside the countries. Um, so the technology is available today. Uh, connectivity is gradually happening, but uh, as we get into the issue around education, there's the issue of instability of power at home, but also in the schools, lack of content, uh, necessity to have simpler devices, digital libraries. What did we do with the teachers, which are uh, a tremendous problem because they're not following in terms of, uh, not up to speed in terms of uh, what's happening with uh, ICT. So the overall feeling is that uh, uh, we needed a framework uh, and one of them that was brought up was uh, our Indian colleague who talked about uh, India, which in many cases has similar challenges uh, as Africa. It's interesting when we go meet uh, with customers in India uh, from Africa, they talk about instability of power, but we have the same issues, uh, public safety, public safety, all the issues are the same. And India has come up with uh, um, a four-phase approach, which is in implementing the ICT infrastructure, um, working on e-content, working on the teacher empowerment, which is a major issue, and then the monitoring and management of the, of the implementation. The real issue today is the technology is there, and the ability, how can Africa leapfrog uh, in the area of education? and not go through all the, the different steps that all the different other countries have gone through. Uh, and you know, somebody yesterday at dinner at the civil society said that the 21st century was going to be the century of Africa. And I think it's true, because right now we're at the inflection point in terms of the use of technology in Africa. So, and then the final comment uh, was around the World Bank, the ability of the World Bank to assist in making the diagnosis of what's going on today in Africa and uh, how can we accelerate.